Hey, welcome back to GT Canada. Today we are fixing a noisy PlayStation 5. So you may have already watched my other video, which you can see over here, which talks about how to fix your drive when it sounds like it's totally eating your game discs. A lot of the comments in that video said, Anton, my PlayStation doesn't sound like that, but it does still sound bad. So what can I do to fix that? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a little bit easier fix and it does work. A lot of people that are using their PlayStation 5 in the, in the vertical position like this say they don't hear any sounds. It's only when they put it in the horizontal position that the noises take effect. And the noise you're actually hearing, and a lot of people they've tested this and they said, when I put weight on it, the sound goes away. And that's because this plastic cover, you can see this cover right here has a lot of flex to it. And when the disc is spinning, it just goes like that. Makes a lot of noise. So we want to get rid of that noise. So what we're gonna do today is use some double-sided adhesive of any type. This came from the dollar store, it's really cheap. If you have something else you can stick in there, you can use that instead. We just need to take up the air gap inside here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is to pop off your cover. So we wanna just flip it straight like this to access the drive. We need to lift the corner and push it to the side like this. That'll remove your drive cover. This gives you access to your disc tray. And then the top cover, so we've got the, the disc drive facing the front of us. You just lift this corner back here and then push this way and that pops the pop top cover off. Now, before we did this, we discovered that this side makes noise and that side and that side. So all we're going to do is add little sticky tabs in here in a few key areas just to make sure that this cover goes on really tight. These are double-sided sticky tabs but we don't want to take both sides off. All we wanna do is stick them on here and that's it. And take those up like that. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one over there. Especially one over here. Right there. And one in the middle. So I'm just putting them in these four places. Just enough to make that cover stick tight. And then, I'm going to put that cover back on and then that makes it a lot more sturdy in there. Then we're going to take another pad and we're going to do the exact same thing to the back side. This is a little bit harder. There's not as many points on here. The key area that you want to get is over in here. This is where the drive is. And there's no hooks on here to really keep it from, from bouncing around. So we're going to focus on that corner of the drive. So you can get one over there, and do one over here. And then what other areas does this hook on? Get one there. And we'll get one right there. So you can see here's the four places that I'm putting them on here, especially in the drive area because there's no clips that hold the cover on here. So this is where you're gonna get a lot of that vibration. So we wanna just take up that slap slack and add a little padding there. So, with this back on, we just put this cover on here. And same deal, you're gonna, you're gonna have to push extra hard because we've got that extra slack in there. But now, besides being dirty, and that's all it takes to get rid of a lot of the extra sounds that you've got from the cover vibrating. That'll take care of all of those vibration sounds. And if this doesn't fix it for you, then you're probably gonna to have to look at that other video that I already linked to that shows you how to adjust your drive eject mechanism that gets the disc kinda of into a better position. So if you've already done that and you still have the noise, this is the fix for you. If you've done this and the noise doesn't go away and you haven't done that, then that's the fix to try next. But those two things should help you get rid of the noise. This is the cheap and easy way to do it without any technical skill. The only thing to know is when you're putting the cover back on, because we got that extra gap, you're gonna have to push extra hard to get it to pop into place. It will pop and it needs to pop so that you know it's on all the way. 
So I hope this video helped you. We got a lot of other great videos you can check out over here. If you haven't subscribed, do that below. We hope to see you again, but until next time, have a great day.